Acting Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan left an immigration policy conference in Georgetown at Georgetown University, the law school. He didn't speak. Protesters just shouted him down. Watch this. Its ability to address large scale immigration flows. Okay. Thank you. He tried three times, wouldn't let him speak. And the secretary joins us now. Mr. Secretary, um, we were appalled on this program because it looks to us like administration officials cannot speak in public. They cannot debate in public. And we're appalled at it. What say you? Well, thanks, Stuart, and thanks for your comments on, on that issue. It, you know, it's unfortunate. We, we had a lot to share with that audience. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of ironic. They're a group of immigration attorneys, uh, advocates, uh, and I was going to challenge them on how our system is failing uh, and what aspects aren't working, uh, but also provide an update on the efforts of, of the Trump administration uh, to address unlawful migration flows and how we're succeeding. Uh, so it's unfortunate they didn't want to have that dialogue. Mr. Secretary, they don't have the intellect or the maturity to match up to you, and that's a fact. Let's get to the substantive part of your work and your job. There has been some criticism uh, that Mexico is doing all the heavy lifting at the border, that, in fact, they are indirectly paying for the wall. What say you on that one? Well, I can say that our international partnerships have actually been essential to the progress we've made over the last four months. Uh, we reduced unlawful crossings by 65 percent. Uh, families coming from Central America are down 80 percent. That was the key driver of the crisis. Uh, and that's because we've, we've instilled a new sense of shared responsibility in the region. Uh, with, with Mexico first and foremost, they are now securing their southern border. They're going after human smugglers based on intelligence from our investigative agencies. And the same thing's happening in Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. And really what we've seen is those administrations step forward and take responsibility for migration flows. And that's unprecedented in the region. Uh, it's due to the president's leadership, and it's due to some, some leaders in these countries stepping forward and saying, we, we do have joint responsibility here. Let's go after the human smugglers that are preying on vulnerable people. Let's get right at it, sir. It's a very active business day, um, news day, so we're going to keep this short. But give us a progress report on A, building the wall, and B, keeping the number of people arrested or apprehended at the border down. Great. So first, we've, we've doubled the amount of wall built in this administration just in the last five and a half months. We're over 71 miles. By the end of next year, we're going to be between 450 and 500 miles in partnership with DOD, the military. So we're, we're making great progress there. In terms of keeping the numbers down, uh, combined with our international partnerships, we have streamlined our procedures for repatriating uh, families to Central America, single adults uh, to Central America and Mexico, uh, so that we do not release people into the U.S. to wait for court hearings. Uh, uh, that's been a huge impact, and we're going to see uh, continued ability to control that flow from these initiatives. Mr. Secretary, thank you very much for being on the program today. It's very much appreciated. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Stuart. Good to be here. Yes, sir. See you soon. Thank you.